fancy candle jar. Uh, hospitals often have special uh, packs where you, you break a little ampule, stick it in there, and it ties up all the oxygen. We go for the less expensive but tried and true way of having basically a pickle jar with a candle in it. And we use the premise that when we seal this up, the fire is going to burn only as long as there's enough adequate oxygen in there. Then it will go out. And when it goes out, it has lowered the oxygen level inside the candle jar. And this is how we will incubate uh, both the plates, once again, incubated upside down, just like you would in the normal incubator. And we also have the test tube. All these have been inoculated, uh, hoping to grow strips. So we'll incubate them at 37 degrees C for 24 to 48 hours inside this, this jar. Uh, so the, the candle will eventually go out when the oxygen is depleted. You could fill this jar all the way up to the top with plates. We have done that in the past when we've had a full class. Obviously, with this just being a demo lab, I only have one plate of each kind, the blood plate and the Midas salivaris plate, and then the tube is the Todd Hewlett broth. And there it goes, it's now out. So now this jar is ready to incubate.